Hey Nova, did you know we can build games using the Give Patch extension in Scratch with Stacks.Fun? It lets you add gravity, bounce, and real world physics to your games. Wait, what? That sounds so cool. Let's try it out. I'm ready for a new challenge. Hold on. Before we jump in, try solving this one. Head over to stacks.fun. You can use it just like Scratch, but with super cool extra powers. Look at the bottom left of your screen. See that blue button that says Add Extension? Click it! Now, scroll down until you find this one. Box 2D by Griff Patch. Whoa! Look at all those new blocks! Gravity, force, collision… This is some real science stuff! Let's start by adding our background and sprites. Click on the Match button at the bottom left to add a new stage. Now, let's add two paddle sprites and one ball sprite. Then select or draw your paddles. Then, add a ball sprite, a perfect circle. Now, let's bring the game to life with code. Hover over to the stage and click the code icon. Drag the block when blue flag clicked. This is our start button, just like the green flag in Scratch. It kicks off the whole simulation. Now, from the physics category, grab set stage boundaries to box stage. This block makes sure everything stays within the screen, like invisible walls around our game. Next, add set gravity to x, 0 y, minus 10. This adds realistic downward gravity, so things will fall naturally, like in real life. Then add set simulation rate to 60 per second. This makes sure the game runs smoothly at 60 frames per second. Now drag a forever loop from the control category. Inside that, place step simulation. This keeps the physics engine running and updating everything in real time. Click on your paddle sprite. Let's make it spin. Start with drag out when blue flag clicked. Again, this starts the paddle setup. Now grab enable for this costume, mode precision. This helps the physics engine calculate collisions better for this specific shape. Next, choose set fixed to free but rotate. This means the paddle can spin, but it won't move away. Then select Set Bounce to Normal, so the ball will bounce off correctly. And finally, use the block Spin with Force 300. All right, Coder Squad! In the backdrop, we told the code to set the simulation rate to 60 per second. But here's my curious Coder challenge for you. What happens if you change that to 30 or even 100? Drop your answers in the comments. I'll be reading them all! Now, let's make the ball bounce and launch into the air. Start with add when blue flaw clicked, and set the starting position with go to x, minus 40, y, 152, to place it on the paddle. Next, add when this sprite clicked, broadcast, launch ball. This means when we click the ball, it will trigger the launch sequence. For the launch, now add when I receive launch ball. This is like a remote trigger. Inside it, add Switch Costume to Ball to make sure the right look is applied. Enable for this circle, Mode, Normal. This tells the engine the ball is round. Set Density to Normal, how heavy the ball feels. Set Friction to None, so it slides easily. Set Bounce to Very Bouncy for maximum fun. So, head over to the Motion category and grab the Go to X, 0 Y, 0 block. Wait, point 0.1 seconds. A tiny delay before launch. Push with force, 80 in direction. This gives the actual launch power. And boom! The ball flies up, hits the paddles, and bounces around. Okay, now that the game works, let's try a quick experiment. Go to the paddle sprite and find this block. Set fixed to free, but rotate. Let's change it to just set fixed to free. Alright, now click the blue flag and launch the ball again. Uh-oh, the paddle fell down. That's because we told it it's not fixed anymore. In physics, a fixed object is like it's nailed to the spot. It won't move no matter what hits it. But when we set it to just free, it becomes a normal object, and gravity pulls it down. Cool, right? Okay, now let's talk about why we're adding code to the background. Without this part, set stage boundaries to box stage, Set gravity to x, 0, y, negative 10, 
and the forever step simulation block, the physics world doesn't work properly. For example, when we test the game without it, the paddle doesn't follow the ball. Instead, it moves somewhere weird and just stays there. That's because the physics simulation isn't even running yet. Think of this code as the engine of the game. Did you notice where the ball went when we started the project? Even without any background code, it jumped straight to the center. That's x0, y0. <laughs> Why? Because we added a go to x0 slash y0 block inside the ball's code. That's what tells it exactly where to appear when the stage starts. That was epic! We just made a physics game in Scratch using GIF Patch! If you want us to try more vile game ideas with Stacks.Fun, let us know in the comments! Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share this video with your game dev friends!